all right so for the skirt part of this dress uh, we are going to cut the front part of the skirt on a fold so first of all we just measure one inch downwards from the top of the fabric for seam allowance and I'm going to use a ruler to uh, make a line to make that uh, part more visible so after making the line after making the line the next measurement I took uh is the waist to hip measurement and my waist to hip measurement is 14 inches so i measured 14 inches from that uh, line that i made for seam allowance so i measured 14 inches downwards and um, i marked that point then uh, after measuring the waist to hip uh, measurement uh, the next measurement I took was the waist. Okay, so um, for my my waist measurement, uh, on the line where I had marked uh, uh, the one inch seam allowance point, I just simply measured my waist. Uh, my waist is about uh, nine inches there about, and then I added. Um, one inch for seam allowance then after measuring the waist the next measurement is the hip circumference and this hip circumference is going to be measured on the uh, line where the waist to hip measurement was um, uh, plotted so the hip my hip circumference of course you divide your hip uh, measurement by four to get your hip circumference then uh, i added also one inch seam allowance for the hip circumference then i used a ruler to join my waist uh, point to uh, my to the hip point this skirt is like an a-line skirt not really but like an a-line skirt so um there's no need for so much like measurements so after that i measured the full length of the skirt the full length of the skirt is about 29 inches sorry it's not uh, showing clearly here but that is what i did i measured 29 inches downwards from the uh, waist uh, point or from the beginning of the waist point and then i just used a ruler to join uh, the line i made earlier from the waist to the hip i just use the ruler to join draw that line straight downwards to join uh, uh to get to the full length part of the skirt which is about uh 29 inches like i said before so uh after that that's all for your skirt basically so you just cut out so i just cut out uh that part which is the front part of the skirt so i just cut it out and then after cutting out all i'll just simply do is to duplicate this part on the back part of the skirt of course with the exception of the zipper but you know just duplicate this for the back part of the skirt okay so for the back of the skirt the first thing i did of course was to leave uh, about one inch for zip for the zipper so uh, I left about one inch on the right hand side of the fabric and then I placed the skirt which I had cut out before uh, on that line on the end of the line for the zip allowance and then all I simply did was just to uh, cut out the skirt all over again uh, just duplicate it again uh, and of course now you have zip allowance on the back so that is how you know the difference between the back and uh, the front piece so after doing the zipper uh, after cutting out the skirt I also um, went ahead to cut the uh, right hand side of the uh, skirt where the zip allowance was because it was on a fold so I just cut it out because obviously the zip is not going to be on a fold then after 
cutting it out uh, I used um, I used my tape to measure uh, about six inches for the zipper because the zipper is actually going to be a long zip and it's going to extend from the bodice down to the uh, skirt part of the dress so uh, I just marked six inches so I'm going to sew up this whole part where the zip allowance is but I'm going to leave that from that point where that six inches is so now uh, now that the skirt is done the next thing I'm going to do is to mark my layers so um, for my layer I'm going to do two layers um, of um, of for this dress so I just simply uh, marked like almost half point of the skirt and then cut it um, in two uh, yeah I marked 14 inches and then I cut the uh, that 14 inch uh, line um, to create my first layer but make sure that the fabric you're using is going to be longer than a, a bit longer at least maybe by one or two inches than the length of the um the layer of the skirt that you're using so that you will not have like a dress that the layer is like uh the under skirt is like showing so that is what you should make sure of before you cut your layer so after i drew the line i just um use the scissors to cut it in two uh, in half and then after cutting it in half i decided to um join my fabric to that layer so so yeah this is what the dress looks like see I have sewn the bodies and for these bodies that I did I just simply duplicated what I did already on the plain white um, fabric on this um, shiny fabric so there's nothing different it's just the same thing I did except that it was on this new fabric I just duplicated it so that uh, you know everything will rhyme so anyways this is the first layer that I have sewn and I'm going to join uh the uh the back of the skirt i'm going to sew that part together so that everything looks nice and neat and well finished when i'm done so i'm just going to show you guys how i did this layer uh so this is the second layer now so um yeah this is what the skirt looks like when you cut it out so you're going to um join it to the um fabric uh, i don't know why i keep um, raising it up and down but yeah so what we are going to do is that I'm just simply going to use maybe pins or something to uh, join the fabric to the skirt and then sew it onto the uh, first layer so that everything will be nice and uh, clean by the time it's all done so yeah that's it okay so um to make the um second layer of the skirt there's the part with the gathers i put my machine on um five so uh the sewing distance or whatever is like about five so i just sewed a straight line on the edge of that fabric on the five setting of my machine and then uh after sewing uh i made sure i left a little bit of thread at the end of the um sewing line and then i just unraveled that line that um, thread and then pull you pull one of the thread after unraveling and you will see that um you can make gathers by pulling and so that's how i made my gathers i just simply pulled it 
on uh, the edge and I also pulled the other edge and then uh, my gathers uh, came together as you're making the gathers of course you'd also be measuring it against the skirt that you're going to sew it to so that the gathers will not be too much or too uh, small like you want the the um, part you are sewing to the skirt to fit perfectly so after making the gathers uh, I went ahead to sew it as you can see I have sewn uh, that to the second uh, part of the skirt so now I'm just going to sew that part to the um, first layer so I'm just going to sew it just like the way I'm showing you I'm going to sew it and then okay now I'm done sewing and as you can see it looks neat I can't believe this work looks so neat and it looks way prettier than it looks in this video and I decided to add one more layer because it was looking too scanty and I had more fabric left so I added one more layer to make the dress fuller so I also decided to add a belt to this dress uh, to give it the whole Cinderella vibe and everything so for my belt uh, I decided to make my belt uh, four inches in um, like call it uh, in depth or in length sorry four inches and i added um, half an inch for uh allowance seam allowance and i just marked that the whole uh i marked the four inches four and a half inches the whole belt and then after marking of course i use my ruler to uh make that mark Okay, I didn't use my ruler anyways, but uh, you can use your ruler to make it more visible so that you can just draw a straight line and not make any mistakes. But after marking, I just used my scissors to cut off the excess fabric. And then after cutting off the excess fabric, I made the edges of the belt angled uh, just by cutting it freehand. And then after cutting that, I went ahead to just sew uh, on my machine.